everybody. I'm back to do this project um, that I had this idea for. I'm going to be using these stickers from Stickability that come from Hobby Lobby. Okay, and I'm also going to be using some cardstock paper uh, from Paper Studios, okay, also from Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure your craft store should have something um, similar to this um, wherever you might be. I'm also going to be using some little little um, little squares like this that came from a mold that has the shaker coffee cups in it. Okay, this comes from Amazon and it basically just has the fruit and I believe like coffee beans and then little ice cube or sugar cube size trays, um, size molds in here. Okay, so I, I'm using those and I have already made up those. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a base coat into both of these four inch square rimmed coasters, okay? looking for bubbles I don't really see any so okay so now what we're gonna do with this this is gonna be a really fun project okay we're gonna be placing our little baseball bases in the corners of of our mold here and we're gonna be placing them on the inside corners of the rim Let's see if I can get them in this way Let's see if they'll kind of stay where I want them to go. They might just stay there. And I'm going to line them up for the corners just to all match. Actually, I probably don't need my tweezers. I can just put them in and then move them. Okay, so now I'm going to let these just thicken up a bit and then we'll place our sticker, okay? We're doing our vinyl baseball sticker in the center of these molds. I'll be back when this is thick enough to put our sticker in. If we put it in right now, it's gonna move all around and also it won't really give it that 3D effect that I'm looking for if it just sinks straight to the bottom, all right? So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, everybody, I'm back. My um, my resin is just a bit thicker. It's been, I don't know, maybe 35, 40 minutes or so since I've poured it, and it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's sticky, we're stringy, and it um, sticks to the stick, and the string comes back up. So it's pretty gooey right now. I'm gonna actually push these sides together to keep my, keep my sides straight here. Okay. So here's my baseballs, and these are pretty thick. There's stickers, but there's no reason to um, to coat them with anything, okay? And they are just going to go here in the center. Okay. I don't want any bubbles in these, so probably what I should have done was that one. Just kind of slide it down this way and kind of push it down as I go. There we go. But now you just scooch it over. I want it in the center there. There we go. And yeah, I got some bubbles under this one. Can't really see them. In there. Okay, so I'm going to leave these. They, I don't expect them to move. I will come check on them every once in a while, but I'm going to leave them to cure, and then we'll be back for our next step.
Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, everybody, we're back. Um, our coasters are not all the way cured, but they're definitely um, firm, sticky, and we are ready for the next step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some resin. Now, I've, I've done something I've never done before here. I had seven ounces, well, I had four ounces of my Diamond Clarity of my Part A, and then I only had three ounces left of my Part B, which was the hardener. Was the hardener. Um, I guess I got a little, maybe used a bit too much of it when I was adding a little extra, because they do give you a little extra, but I guess I use a little too much extra. Anyway, so what I did is I took one ounce of hardener from my Better Boat um, that I had here, and I'm really hoping that it was just enough hardener that it's going to go ahead and still cure. But I've never mixed that before, and um, it may or may not work. But I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna spray my little containers here real quick. And then our next step is going to be to fill these almost full so that we can get our 3D effect, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this It's not all the way to the top. I think I've got just like barely enough to go ahead and put my um, baseball stickers on there after this part cures to sticky. And then um, I will do some kind of a backing, okay? So here is our sand and I did go ahead and spray it with uh, the sealer. I did go ahead and spray this, the front and the back of my cardstock this time with the sealer. I don't always do that. Some of the cardstock feels a little thicker than others. This one didn't feel that thick. It was a little papery. So I went ahead and just gave it a quick seal on both sides. So I am going to let these cure to almost, almost all the way cured, just a tiny bit sticky. And then we'll go ahead and add the sand part, okay? All right, I will see you guys when this part's ready. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Our uh, resin there is kind of sticky, soft, um, kind of firm here. So I'm going to go ahead and place our sand. And it's really, there's only one place for it to go. It's going to just take up the whole section here. So I'm going to start on one end and kind of make my way over to kind of prevent any bubbles in there. <laughs> the craft stick and not my fingers. I don't have gloves on. I'm just adding this here real quick. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do for right now. If this shows through, I wish I knew if it was going to, I would probably just do a black background so that it would just blend in. Okay, you guys, I will let you know what I decide to do for the back here, and then we'll be able to um, unmold it. I will see you in a bit. Hello, everyone. I'm back to demold our baseball coasters. They are completely cured in the back here, and, um, I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and demold them because I'm gonna do a different kind of a backing on these, okay? And I'll show you what that is when we get to that part. But in the meantime, let's just get these out of here and see how they turned out. I'm super excited to see if it turned out the way I had hoped. So, okay. Ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh, they turned out great. Oh, they turned out great. Wow, what do you guys think? It does look kind of 3D, the way I had kind of pictured as far as the, um, the ball itself is sticking out further from the sandy part. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like this turned out really, really amazing. You can't even tell that the cardstock that we used is cardstock. It actually looks like 
dirt or sand back there. Wow, that's crazy. That turned out really well. And then we did the um, we did have the cardstock go all the way to each of the corners, and that was so that you could see the dirt or the sand through the edges. Okay. Now, one thing that I'm noticing that this is maybe lacking a bit of would be a bit of green, right? So another thought would be to come in with my green um, paint pen and do an edging around the outside. And I might try that. I might Since I've made two of these, I might try it on one of them. Okay, now here's the other one. And I'm excited to see if, or maybe not excited, but a little anxious to see if this went bled through on the paper. It shouldn't have, but you know, sometimes you just never know. Okay, here's this one. I expect it to look just like this one. Let's see here. Oh, here it is, and look it. Oh gosh, guys. It turned out really cute. I did get I did get a couple of bubbles in this one. They're right here on the top. I can actually feel them open. So super easy fix to, to fill those in. Um, and I see here that the words did leak through our paper. I was worried about that, but the way I cut the paper just from one corner, um, I had used this dirt backing for a different project as well. So I actually didn't have enough except for using this paper with the words. I could do a black back on this, which would make that black disappear. And maybe on this one, um, since it's kind of a, you know, this will be just a work in progress kind of a piece. Um, I'll try the green on this and see how it turns out. If I like it, I'll add it to this one. If I don't like it, I'm just going to leave this one the way it is. It turned out perfectly and I really love it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe it'll make baseball season just a little bit more fun. I'll be back to let you know what I end up doing with this. Okay, everybody. So I'm back. I am going to be putting um, this kind of a backing on our coasters today. This um, just came from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's kind of over in the wearable art transfer section. They have all different kinds of these kinds of things. So I picked up a few different patterns and colors um, to experiment with. So I'm going to try to use this for my backing today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I've placed my coaster over in one corner and I'm just going to make myself a little pattern here. Okay, pretty close. I'm going to cut this one out. Now I think what I'm going to do is have this one be, have the black darker side facing on this side to kind of help hide the words there. I was trying to find something dark. So let's see. That's what it would look like if I did it on the back this way, but if I did turn it this way, does help a bit with those words. It doesn't take it away completely. Changes the hue of our dirt and sand just a bit, but it would still give it a nice um, soft background um, backing for your furniture. Let's see, if I did it this way, it kind of makes those pop a bit more. Hmm, let's see, maybe I'll do one each way. All right, well, I'm gonna try this, okay? can't hurt. This is just my practice one anyway. Then on this one over here, I will do it this, this other way. Okay, and I'm just going to do it in the corners a bit, around the outsides here. I don't want it to leak through, so I want it just to sit kind of flush around the edges. Okay. just a bit. It's dry for a second there. Shouldn't take very long. 
thickness is a really soft, as you can see, it's almost like a fabric back there. Oops, my other light's not on. I'll turn this on. There we go. It's kind of a, yeah, I don't know what it's made out of. Huh, it's not really say. But I'm going to take this one now and make another pattern real quick. Okay, so that's sticking. It appears that it is working on this one, so this one should stick a little easier since it's the the backing on this one's a little smoother. Alright, so I'm gonna let this sit over here to dry and this one's already dried. So now what I'm going to do is remember this is the one that we said that we were going to give it just a little try and I found um, this bright green sharpie might be pretty bright but it's all I've got for green. I don't have a green paint pen. The only other one I have is this one it's too blue. Go out. I'm going to have to pick up something else. And if I don't like this, and if I find a darker green paint pen, I can always go back over it. Easier to go darker than lighter, right? <laughs> All right, so let's give this a try and see. Does this will work even? Okay, so this is going to be a translucent green on here. But it might give it just enough of some color. I feel like you just, you've got to have... Gotta have some green in your baseball field. I don't know if that's too bright. Actually, it did give it. It did give it a little bit of green. That um, it's kind of a bright green. But what do you think? Do you like it better with the green? See, this is well, of course this is completely dry over here yet but here it is without without the green I kind of feel like maybe it needed the green I feel like it definitely needed the green all right I might have to do them both that way what do you think gosh I don't know but anyway here they are here they both are we did two different backings because we had the problem here so I kind of needed the black to um, to kind of drown out the words over here so I put the darkest part of this on the back here against the words so as you can see it kind of drowned them out you can still see them a bit but not like it was before okay and then here's this one that we really encountered no problems with no issues the sides are all beautiful we didn't have any bubbles um, we put this kind of a backing on it and yep here we go here they are, and this was tons of fun, you guys, and gosh, I don't know. I might have to do this one in green, too. The more I look at this, it just really kind of makes the colors pop, so I think I will go ahead and do that, and I appreciate you guys coming along with me. Thanks for experimenting with me, and I will see you next time.